Hey Stampers, Gainer again. Um, video number two of the evening. Um, I'm just going to cut a piece of card I need. Um, let's just hope I have it perfected. Um, so off a bit of scrap. I only need two inches. And I will tell you all the dimensions in a moment. It's my level is. And then I'll show you the card as well. It's another quick and simple one. Um, it's absolutely adorable. It's half one set I've already used before, uh, which was big on birthdays, which is still in the new catalogue. And a new one uh, is called Inspired Events. And it's this. It's for christenings, baptisms, blessings, confirmations and first communions. Um, if that's what you want to use it for, you can send an invite. Please join us for the christening of our son or our daughter. Or, or please join us with, for the baptism, the blessings of confirmation or first communion of either son or daughter again. Um, you can send a congratulations card on someone's communion as well. I love these flowers. Absolutely. And look at the little cross and birdie. I'm using this stamp here. Tiny little dots, two flowers there, these two here, and this gorgeous trellis work. Beautiful. And like I said, well, I'll show you the card. You'll know what I mean. This is my card. How adorable is that? Uh, you, I could have turned it. Doesn't this remind you? Oh, it's beautiful. I just love it. I reckon that would go with the uh, Paisley and Posies. Paisley and Posies um, stamp set. Me and, my, <laughs> me and my peas. <laughs> I do apologise. These are the two flowers. There's no um, dies for these. I just hand cut these out and I used my lovely Winkers there. I did it on the thick parts of the happy birthday and on my flower. And I even stamped inside. I've made a boo-boo, but nobody knows what it's supposed to be apart from me. Um, but on this card, we'll do it right. But... I use them little dots just on the outside of my card. Um, but I think that is absolutely sweet as hell. So, let's get going. Um, like I'm saying, oh, I'm, I'm using the big on birthday and I'm using the happy birthday. So, I'm changing up my card colours as well. I'm, uh, I'm using uh, my Whisper White, which is 4 and 1 8 by 5 and... Uh, by 11 and a half, scored at five and three quarters. Really long card, this one, but it's half a sheet of A4 cardstock, minus a little fraction. I'm going to be stamping in Pool Party and Marina Mist for this one. And I'm using Pool Party cardstock. This is for the front of the card where we're going to stamp that lovely um, trellis work. This is going to be for my two flowers for to cut out. And then you need a piece of uh, Whisper White, which measures two inches by four and an eighth to go across the centre like this one. Isn't that beautiful? Really nice. You could put something else there and leave the happy birthday and, and I sent it to a mail, but I'm doing... Just this lovely version because I love all the colours. So you've got your measurements. So it's 11 and a half by 4 and 8. Scored at 5 and 3 quarters. This then is um, 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and a half. 2 by 4 and an eighth. And then a scrap piece then for your flowers. So we're going to be doing a lot of stamping. So I'm going to pop my white card to one side. I have got my two little flower, uh, the little flower, which is two step. I have the larger flower again, which is two step. I've got to work out which way around it goes. There it goes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yep. Uh, my beautiful trellis work. Look how long this is. And it fits perfectly. Well, it's a little... This stamp is actually four and a quarter, so it would fit perfectly across the bottom of your card. I'm going to be stamping all my cardstock in Marina Mist. 
against this beautiful pool party. I'll be using the pool party on here just to give my texture for the flowers, which I'm going to do first because we've got to cut them out. Um, so I'm going to pop that to one side as well. So I just need one of the small, and because it's uh, tone on tone, it looks beautiful. I'm only doing the the, um, the two tone bit in the pool is uh, the pool party because I want the darker bits in uh, Marina Mist. You'll see why it makes the impression on the flower just pop off the page. It's beautiful. They do line up perfectly, you can see right through them. Isn't that sweet? And then I'm just going to pull this down, I don't want to get my head in the shot. Isn't that pretty? Pretty. We're going over that after when it's dried with Wink of Stella. So I'm going to leave that to dry for a minute. I'm fetching in my uh, piece of Whisper White now. And I'm going to be stamping the Happy Birthday. And this is again in Marina Mist. I recruited a lady last week and her daughter, Lynn and Michelle beautiful women absolutely stunning and she has virtually just placed an order and virtually is halfway to reaching our halfway to bronze elite already she had nearly 600 csvs bless her and the what an achievement that is in itself so oh my god look at that it's beautiful I'm going to pop that on one side. I'm going to be putting all my stamps to one side. I need those two. The ones that I'm not using ready to uh, clean off later. Right. In comes our beautiful piece of pool party now. And this gorgeous trellis work. <laughs> I love this. As soon as I saw this stamp set, I wanted it straight away. But I obviously wasn't on the pre-order so I had to wait till I could afford to spend my hard-earned uh, cash so oh, I'm gonna get to fetch in a piece of scrap because I don't want to go on my grid paper because this is my pad I always leave my pad down and use scraps instead so I'm going to right on the edge I'm going to give it a bit of good press and leave it there. So the ink transfers. <gasps> Look how beautiful. Just slightly, but you you can never tell. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. I love, 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 love this stamp set. <laughs> I'm crackers, I know. But this is why you watch me. Because <laughs> I have nets. <laughs> right, we've turned the paper upside down now because we want this trellis work to uh, be at the top and the bottom. I'm just lining it up again. Oh my god, my head is. is my, if my head's in the way, I do apologise. I was practicing earlier on the oh shave it on a pink piece with um and look I literally I think I joined it here somewhere or here and it was faultless I got it bang on and then I tried it in the 
uh, Berry Burst, beautiful. And look, this is the Powder Pink and the Berry Burst. Doesn't that flower just pop? Lovely. So practice does make perfect. Oh my god. Oh, I think I've got it a bit better this time. I seem to have chopped. Does it matter? Only me and you know how this card should be. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have that at my top, believe it or not. Let's uh, check this out now. We need this to be right in the centre. <sighs> perfect. It needs to come down just a fraction. That is perfect two inch gap either side. Beautiful. We can stick that together right now, actually. Ew. Let's get this on. This is uh, only the only bit I stick down with the ATG. The rest I'm going to use um, stamping dimensions. But even a lady, oh my god, any lady would love these colours. I know I do. Oh, it's beautiful. That is then going to get popped onto the front of our card. But I'm going to go round the front of my card now while the ink is out with this lovely little dots. Just all the way around the edge. Um, I'm going to fetch that piece of paper back in just to be on the safe side. Lynn, I am so proud of you, Cedar. You and Michelle. Uh, you've done amazing balls. And I will give you a bell sometime tomorrow. My lovely little angels. These are my two new ladies. Absolute superstars. So I'm just doing a thin line all the way around the head. Little tap. If it gets messy, just right along the edge of your paper. As you can see. But don't worry, it's only me and you know how this, the receiver wouldn't have a clue. It's just, the object is dab lightly, stamp lightly. And, uh, it gives another dimension to the card. Let's see, more on it now, so I just, I'm heavy handed, that's what it is, it's my fault. Light tap, just to press. Oh, see that then? Uh, it's so easy to uh, go over the ink. Right, clean that again. Did you all uh, see my flutter card? You moved me earlier. <gasps> I put that on already. What a beautiful card that is. Oh, we're nearly done. Look, see, I've just blocked too hard on there again. That's what happened on the inside of my card on the other one, so I don't want to do that on this one. Let's turn it over. See? It's so easy, these tiny stamps. It's so easy to press down too hard and smudge your work. And... There we have it. Woohoo! Right, let's go do this while we're here. In fact, I did this and just huffed on it, but I'm going to stamp. And stamp again and stamp inside my card. I only want to faint, um, a really faint. And the same here stamp, stamp, and stamp. Don't them two roses look beautiful together? I'm going to clean this and I'm going to stamp and Stamp. See? There again. You can't really tell, but stamp and stamp. 
that's better. Just one little dark on there, that's all. So that's the outside of my card. And I'm going to bore you to tears now whilst I, I'm going to, no, I'm going to add my dimensions first. I'm going to attach this to the front of our card. Cars. That's how I roll. <laughs> I'm going to pop the ink lid on just in case I get it all over myself. Even that alone is just such a pretty card by itself. I'll try and get the distance just right. Perfect, I think. Whoops. That's so pretty. I'm going to add our roses for dinner. So I will. Sorry to. I can't. I can't. I can't fast forward. And I don't really want to pass forward. I just want you to know that I'm the worst cutter outer in the world. Cutter outer. I've done it again, haven't I? I can't even say it properly. I'm just going to do it roughly. Because all these. See? Oh, I nearly chopped it in half then. I can't manoeuvre. My fingers are so fat. I cannot manoeuvre around these pieces of card. And they say, move the card. Move the card. I'm nearly blind. <laughs> My fingers are fat. My poor husband's suffering again, bless him. He's come down with a cold, I think. It's absolutely boiling here today, and he's sitting there with tooth bumps. It's freezing cold, shaking like a leaf. So I've got him on the paracetamol, boy. So there's one. Oh my god, I'm going to have to do a rough one on this as well. Look, so it gets in my way. And I'd like to make a good job of it. I don't like, I do, oh, I can't fussy cut. I can't leave a, 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 a rim all the way around. I've got to cut up to the line, otherwise I get fat bits, skinny bits. No bits, <laughs> so I just got to the line. Much easier for me. I should really have my other glasses on. They have a really close up. By the time I get them out of the box, clean them. I have to cut them out already anyway. So. There we go. I can do it if there's not much to cut off. <laughs> right, let's get this out of the way. Put it for my little waste paper bin. I'm going to have a sip of my coffee. I want a tiny little dimension along this one. Oh, sweet. Aren't these the, just the cutest? And um, we're going to have a large one on this one. That one's ready to come off already. Fat fingers. Right, I'm just going to pop my scissors away. Knowing me, I'm so clumsy. Right, let's position these. And I had this one around about here. I'm not going to attach this one yet until I put my Winker Stella on. And I love, 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 love my Winker Stella. As you know. I'm only doing it on... The um, pool party. No, I'm not doing it over the line. I'm just like filling in the colour. Oh my 
god, that is so beautiful. <gasps> Loving this colour. It's beautiful. Right now I'm gonna fetch my little rose. Where the dimensional is, I'm gonna slide it up until it meets. Oops, she says. I'm gonna put that down before I splodge it everywhere. And I'm gonna fetch this out. Is that right? Yes, that's perfect. Just slide it up until you can't or you feel it hit up against the other part of your flower. Oh my god, that is just divine. What else I did was I just went down the thick parts of my words happy birthday i'm so nestled in on this table now it's a wonder you can't see all my hair i do apologize if you can oh i'm loving this the birds are still chirping outside and it's like 25 to 10 at night. I always stamp late, don't I? <laughs> I did one earlier. Mm. I think I had it on before. Just have to see. <gasps> Isn't that beautiful? Right, clean the tip. Basically, that's it. It's gone. I'll put a little few gems now. Just, I'll just pop three down this side. Oh my god, that's beautiful. And where I've got that little dark spot, I'm just going to add one inside. <gasps> there, done. How quick was that? And isn't that absolutely stunning? Can you see the sparkle on them flowers? And I love both colours. And I love that little edge. That's so cute. Well, there we are. I would really appreciate a thumbs up, a share and a subscribe. That'd be amazing. Um, and if you want to purchase any of the products we've used today, click the link below and you'll open up my blog and you'll find a little button in there saying shop now. You're more than welcome to go in there and obtain any of these supplies. And I would love to be your demonstrator. Um, the business would be greatly received. And then I can put you on my, oh, I've just seen a spot of mist. I can put you on my customer database and send out monthly gifts and cards and kits and little embellishments that I like to send my beautiful customers. So if you'd like to join that, I've also got a bonus scheme on. Um, Every £25 you spend before posting packing, you'll gain a little, you were allowed, I will send you a card and you can put a little flower stamp on. Once you get to 10, you can choose a free stamp set then up to the value of £20 on me, free of charge. For being such loyal and loving customers. So, pop along, go to the shop, um, just look at that, I'm loving this. Absolutely stunning. It's a photo polymer stamp set. Absolutely beautiful. Easy to keep clean. Um, and then look at all the size of your words. You've got it's upside down heart, blessing, uh, christening, confirmation, first communion. You've got a little oh, on the corner piece here. Look at this. Let's get that corner piece. You could do this in your corners of your cards absolutely beautiful the lovely cross and the dove oh just a gorgeous stamp set and not only well as you can see i have jazzed mine up for birthday you could do it for anything even even if you wanted to put deepest sympathy the lovely little cross and a, the dove 
next to the sympathy. That would make a lovely sympathy card with these flowers cut out as well. So it's not just for um, christenings and baptisms and confirmations and communions. It's it, it's just it can be for anything. So like again, like I say, thanks again. Thumbs up, share, subscribe and visit my shop. <laughs> Bye for now.